Hey guys, today we will be discussing planning of manipulated trajectories. By trajectories, we mean that we placing the object from one position to another while considering the velocity components of the manipulator. So there are two constraints in this uh, planning of manipulated trajectories. That is the first one is the path constraint. In path constraints, we have to decide whether this involves deciding whether the manipulator or the robot arm should follow or traverse a specified path or not. This is the path constraint. That is, we have to decide whether the manipulator should follow or traverse a specified path or not. Now, the second constraint is that it is called the obstacle constraint. Now, in obstacle constraint, we have that before moving the manipulator or the robot arm, Before moving the manipulator along a path or the robot arm along a path, we have to make sure we have to make sure that there are no obstacles present in the path. That is an obstacle constraint. We have to make sure that before we move a manipulator from one position to another, we have to make sure that there are no obstacles present in the path which will hinder the movement of the manipulator. So these are the two constraints that we have to keep in mind while planning the trajectories of the manipulator. So these two constraints that is these two constraints give rise to four control methods. Now we will be discussing these four control methods for each scenario. That is, I'll change the color first. Suppose we have the four control modes. That is the control modes of a manipulator. So first of all, we will write the obstacle constraint. Then here we will write the path constraint. Now we will decide which of the following is present. You will be able to understand this just in a minute. Give me a minute to make you understand this part. Now let us say that the obstacle constraint. Let me remove this line. Now let us say the obstacle constraint is present. That is yes. And the path constraint is also present then we can say that the there will be offline collision and collision free path planning that is there will be offline collision free path planning plus there will be also online path tracking please keep on writing with this uh, writing this along with me in your notebooks also in order to make notes so by offline we mean that the real time data or the real time manipulator can be controlled and the path planning that we will be do will be collision free and the second one uh, by online path tracking we mean that the path will be tracked of the manipulator through computers or through uh, other devices that we have in order to control the manipulator arm now secondly here we had the obstacle constraint now if suppose we do not have the obstacle constraint but we have the path constraint so here we will have offline path planning plus online path tracking. Now see the difference between these two. Here we had collision free path planning. Whereas, whereas here we only have path planning and we do not have collision free path planning. This is because the obstacle constraint has not been considered. So here our, our manipulator can hit any obstacle which comes in its path. So this is the most optimal way 
and this is the least optimal way we can say if the path planning is considered path constraint is considered now suppose if we do not con consider the path constraint but we consider the obstacle constraint only so in that way we will have positional control plus we will also have online obstacle detection and avoidance so here we can avoid the obstacles because we are considering the obstacle constraint but here path planning won't be possible because we are not considering the path constraint now similarly if we are considering we if we are not considering any of the constraints present that is here we are not considering the uh, path constraint also and here we are also not considering the uh, obstacle constraint so here we will only have positional control that is only the position can be controlled and we cannot find out the path nor we will be able to find out whether the obstacles are present in the path or not so these are the four control methods in which uh, we are given by which are given by the two constraints that we have that is the path constraint and the obstacle constraint so these control methods are used in uh, manipulator trajectory planning so i'll again explain this part briefly here we have four control methods by which we define the different uh, position controls the collision free planning and the path tracking here we are considering in this uh, blocks we are considering both the trajectories are there whereas in this box we are only considering the path planning path constraint whereas the obstacle constraint is not there whereas in this part we are only considering the obstacle constraint and the uh, path constraint is not considered and in this path none of the constraint is considered so this is the least effective part this is the least optimal or the least effective part and the most optimal way is this control method that is the first box so i hope it is clear to you if you were able to understand this just write wow in the comments and it would be great to know that you were able to understand these uh, constraints with the control methods so this is it for this video see you in the next one